Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the FV schedule command or function. Now this particular function assumes a scenario where you make an investment and you provide a different annual rate of returns. So how would you figure out the future value? So I'm going to go ahead and go through the manual calculations of how you would do this and then show you the uh, FE schedule function which does it pretty easily. So if you want to just see the FE, FV function schedule in action you can probably just uh, fast forward this but I'll show you how um, this particular example would work. So let's say for example we had an investment of $1,000 right and what we want to do is we have an interest rate of 4% in the first year maybe 4.5% in the second year and maybe 5% in the last year. So what we're going to say is we're going to say at the end of the first year we're going to times 1000 uh, times uh, 1.04 uh, because that's going to be the 4% out of the 1000 which is going to give us uh, 1040 basically $40 so 10,000 times 4% is $40 plus one, uh, excuse me, 1,000 times 4% is $40 plus 1,000 gives us $1,040. Now in the second year, what we're going to do is we're going to have that amount uh, times uh, 1.1 um, 1 plus uh, 0.45, which is the decimal of 4.5%. And that's going to give us $1,086.08. And in the third year, what we're going to do is we're going to take that amount uh, times uh, 1.05, which is 5%, right? 1% times 1.05. And that's going to give us 1141.14. So at the end of year three, if we're earning 4% in the first year, 4.5% in the second year, 5% in the third year, off an initial investment of $1,000, by the end of the third, third year, we should get $1,141.14. Well, there's got to be an easier way to do this. And in Excel, there actually is, when we have a different varying rate of returns, we can use the FV schedule function. So FV schedule basically just takes the FV schedule function command. You're going to take the principal, which is that amount, and we're going to take the schedule. So what I can do is, since I have the schedule lined out here, I can just select that range and go ahead and press return and it's going to same, give me the same amount. So at the end of the three years, based on the varying average rate of returns, we can get that range. Now if you didn't have a range and you just had something where someone just told you, hey, you know, I have a thousand dollars, I'm going to let you borrow it and then I'm going to give you this amount. Now we can go ahead and enter these individually. Let's say we just, we didn't want to have, we didn't have a have it in our range here in some cells. We can actually enter it individually, but before we do that, we actually have to put it in curly brackets. So this is basically put it in curly brackets, and we have 0 0.04, comma, 0 0.045, uh, comma, 0 0.05, oops, comma, 0 0.05, and then close the curly brackets, uh, close parentheses, and then press enter, and we will have our same value as our future value here. So this is kind of a, a quick way to do it if you just had someone that is just giving you numbers and you didn't have it out uh, listed in uh, different cells in your worksheet. So this is the way that you can uh, take an investment and if someone's providing you a different annual rate of returns and how you can figure out the future value within a set period of time. So that's the FV schedule function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.